Good day everyone, today I will be discussing to you the fundamental principle of countings. In this lesson, you need to use your critical thinking skills. Let's have this example. Suppose Mark is to watch a K-pop concert at the Araneta Coliseum. The Coliseum has four different gates where he can enter. If he cannot pass through the same gate twice, in how many ways can he enter and leave the Coliseum? So our condition is, we have four different gates, then Mark can only enter and pass through the same gate twice. So in how many ways he can enter and leave the Coliseum? So enter and leave, so that means we need to have our entrance, entrance gate, and our exit gate. Okay. Now we have four different gates. So let's say for the entrance we have A, B, C and D, four different gates, one, two, three, four. So this, um, this method is what we call the listing method. So we need to list or write all the possible um, outcomes or roots of mark. So let's say this is mark. Then if mark enters at gate eight, our condition, he cannot pass through the same gate twice. So his exit can be C or gate B, gate C, or gate D. Sorry. If he enter at gate A, he exits at gate B, C, or D. If he will enter at, B, uh, at gate B, then the possible exits can be A, C, D. And if Mark enters at gate C, then the possible exit can be A, B, D. And if Mark enters at gate D, the possible exits can be A, B, C. Now, let us list all the possible routes of mark so it can be a b it can be a c it can be a d it can be b a it can be b c it can be b d or c a c b CD. It can be DA, DB, or DC. So, how many ways can Mark enter and exit the Coliseum? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, there are possible, 12 possible ways where Mark can enter and leave the Coliseum. So, there are 12 ways. Now, there, there is an easier way to solve this problem using the fundamental principle of countings. So, our principle states that if one event can occur in M ways, and another event can occur in n ways, then the number of ways that both event can occur is m times n. So using the same given, so we have four different gates. So four different gates, that would be our m. Okay. Times our n, what will be our n? Take a look at our condition. He cannot enter. Oh. If he cannot pass through the same gate twice, that means in our N, there is only 
three possible ways or three in this case we have three possible gates where he can leave the Coliseum so four times three three possible ways so that is four times three of twelve possible ways which is the same if we're going to list or use the fundamental principle of countings. Now let's have another example regarding this topic. Now let's have this problem. A gradient class consists of 12 boys and 10 girls. Find the number of ways that the class can elect letter A, a president and a vice president, letter B, a muse and an escort. So let's start with letter A. So in how many ways can the class elect a president and a vice president? So study our given, we have 12 boys and 10 girls. So a total of 22 students in this class. So all these 22 students can run for a president. So we have 22 can be selected as the president or can be elected as the president times this is for the president. Okay, there are 22. Now next, for the vice president, if one is elected as the president, so we have 21 candidates as vice president. So, or 21 possible students that can run through vice president. So multiplying 22 times 21, so 22 times 21, so we have 1 times 2, we have 2. Time, 1 times 2, we have 2. 2 times 2, we have 4. 2 times 2, we have 4. So that is 462. So we have 462 ways. Next, letter B. Find the number of ways that the class can elect a muse and an escort. So for our muse, we have 10 girls, so we have 10, so all the girls can run as their muse, times escort, all the boys can run as escort, so 10 times 12, that is 120 ladies. so these are the girls and the number of boys go back in our given. So 10 times 12, that is 120. Another example. Now we have, and now we have the new standard configuration for the Philippines license plates. Philippines license plates. Now let's have this problem. Now let's have this problem. The new standard configuration for the Philippines license plates is three letter Now let's have this example. The new con Now let's have this example. The new standard configuration for the Philippines license plates is three letter followed by four digits. Example, A, B, C, one, two, three, four. Letter A, how many different license plates are possible if letters and digits can be repeated? Letter B, how many different license plates are possible if digits and letters cannot be repeated?
So let's start with letter A. So we have 26 letters in our alphabet while we have 10 different digits. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then for 26, A, B, C, D, until Z. Now, how many different license plates are possible if letters and digits cannot be repeated? So we have 1, 2, 3. This is for our digits. Then 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, sorry, this is for the letters. And this is our digits. So our conditions, digits and letters can be repeated. So we have 26. It can be repeated. So times 26. So there are possible 26 possible letters here. Then another 26 possible letters. Because the letters can be repeated. Next, for the digits, we have 10 digits. So here, 10. Letter, uh, digits can be repeated. So another 10 times 10 times 10. Now multiplying 26 times 26 times 26 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Times 10. Use your calculator. So, after multiplying, the product is 175,000, uh, 175,760,000, okay? Kindly double check using your calculators. 26 times 26 times 26 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Is it 175,760,000? Letter B. So we have letters and for the digits, 2, 3, 4. In this letter B, letters and digits cannot be repeated. So... 26, so there are 26 here that can be used as our first letter. Now, for our next possible letter, so if A is used, then A cannot be repeated in this, so 25. Next, if two letters are being used, then we have 24. Same case in our digits. So, in this, there are 10 possible digits. Times 9, times 8, times 7. Now, multiplying using your calculator, that is 78 million... 624,000. Just press your calculator 26 times 25 times 24 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7. So that is the fundamental principle of counting. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.